Hello, traders everywhere. Adam Hewison, co-founder of Market Club, with your update for Tuesday, the 30th of August. I tried to do this early, but we had some technical problems because of the hurricane, obviously. Uh, but the equity market's been a very strong performance yesterday and pushing to the best levels since August 5th. Uh, we would not be surprised if this market, which is very overbought, possibly rallying to the 12, 30, 12, 50 level basis, the S&P 500. Now, looking at the gold market, once again, this market bounced over the $1,800 level, and it's actually doing very well today. It's actually 1832 as I speak. This market is uh, basically regrouping. I think uh, the market's trading where it is now is a good chance we may see a test of the highs and possibly even make new highs, despite the $200 pullback we saw in the last few days. So crude oil is now very much overbought and approaching the upper levels of the Donchian trading channel. Uh, we expect this channel to hold uh, any further uh, upward move, and um, it's very, uh, very overbought, as I mentioned. Dollar index continues to bounce off support level around 7350. Uh, we've outlined this on numerous occasions, and the market's trading currently over the 74 level. Uh, looking at the uh, CRB index has dramatically uh, rallied after the lows on the August 9th. Uh, this market is largely reflecting the moving crude oil. Uh, now let's go to the six major markets, and we track every day and see how we can create and maintain your wealth in 2011. So here we are. We're starting at my home page, and we're going to go to my portfolio. And here we are. This is the portfolio, and I just keep these markets in, in my portfolio. I'm going to click here, and you can see pretty much that we are kind of overbought in the S&P 500, and we are seeing this market really struggling today. Uh, you can see the type of formation it has. I've already put the Fibonacci lines in 1222, 1250, and if you may remember, I'll put my Telestrator on here and show you what we talked about before. This is a very key area in this market, and that's the 1250 zone right here, and that's going to be, in my opinion, a pretty hard level for this market to get through. So we may see more like action like this and possibly higher than I think we'll turn down again and test the lows and possibly make new lows. I think uh, the market's very heavily overbought here on the on the Williams percent R indicator and we're heading down in the Donchian trading channel. So somewhere along the line here we're going to get reach the top of this Donchian trading channel perhaps and then I think we'll turn down from there. So let's clear everything off the screen as we normally do. Go to our next market and that's going to be the silver market, which is kind of stuck in the middle here. It really kind of hasn't gone anywhere per se, and uh, we're sort of trading around the 41 level, and I think that's really where we want to see this. Uh, no strong feeling there. The market's really not oversold in the mid-range, minus 50, not overbought, not oversold, sort of muddling along. I think we'll probably see more action like that in the middle part of the channel, and then perhaps may see a move up from there. Let's go to our next market, which is Gold. Uh, gold is currently trading. Uh, let's see. It's well. Let's just see here. It's currently trading at 27. Let's just do a refresh there. Maybe maybe, maybe a little bit higher now. And it's very easy to use this tool, by the way, with Market Club. Just refresh and just this is a real time prices. Nope. We're still trading around the 27 level. The market's up 32 dollars for the day. But again, it's kind of like in the mid range. Uh, we've we're over the $1,800 level, but we're really not going too much anywhere. Same thing with this indicator in the middle of the Williams percent R. No strong trends either way here. But generally speaking, this $200 break, uh, which really corrected in a very heavily overbought condition, sort of made the market come back up here. And I think what we'll see here, let me give you an example of what I think potentially could happen here, is I think obviously this is very important level right here. This, this is We think this is going to be a top for a while, but we could see more of this type of action and then maybe rolling over or maybe going to new highs. Now, why I say that is because it's unclear with the current technical picture where we're heading. But look at the trends. The monthly trend is positive. The weekly trend is positive. So the trends are all what we would consider to be positive on the upside, and that's really the way to trade right now. But the odds certainly favor you doing that. Certainly, if we see the market go over 1850, I think we're on to something really pretty good. So let's clear the picture again, and let's go to our next market. And the next market we're going to be looking at is the crude oil. Crude oil is inching up towards the. Uh, we had a signal today, 89.19 to be a buyer. Uh, we're currently trading 88.90. 
we're very heavily, uh, you can see quite clearly on the Don Chin trading channels, very heavily over, overbought here. And I think uh, that's going to be present a problem uh, this level here and this level here, where we're at the, the, the top of the Don Chin trading channel. And I think we've seen the recovery. I would have guessed this is we're in a, in a basically a 62% retracement level from the highs that were seen here and the lows that were seen here. We sort of come back, and this is going to be an interesting zone where we want to be in. And I think we'll probably see more of a two-way market and possibly some profit taking and push the market back down. But there again, mixed picture in the triangles. We are monthly is negative, meaning longer term down, and the weekly is positive, indicating a mixture in the trend. Um, normally, we like to see everything green or everything red. It's a very strong trend at that point in time, but sometimes when you get this mixture between the monthly, which we put a lot more emphasis on for trends than the weekly, then you're going to see the sort of a more of a two-way market. So let's see what happens. Intermediate term traders should be long in this market, and long term traders should be actually out of the market. So let's take a look at the market itself. Um, the next market, clear everything off the screen, and go to our next market, and the next market is going to be the US dollar index. We talked about this index time and time again, and how it continues. I just put this uh, uh, line chart in. You can see how this market is just continuing to flatten out. It's amazing that with all the turmoil in, uh, in Europe, everywhere else, this market has really gone nowhere. Now, this is about against a basket of currencies, and as you can see, the longer term trend is up, the short term is negative, and very short term, is, excuse me, the intermediate term is negative, and the very short term is also negative. But again, 73.50 is, this market's hit this numerous times, bounced up, bounced up, bounced up, and you've just corrected a very oversold condition right here. So I would assume we're going to take a test of maybe the 74.50, 75 level on this market. So let's look at our last market, which is going to be the CRB index. Uh, CRB index is uh, actually, again, this is, I'm going to put the candlestick charts on. You can see this is getting very close to the highs of this level. Now, we have a bias towards inflation in this market, but uh, we've seen a really a pretty dramatic recovery. A lot has to do with obvious commodity prices and crude oil in particular. So we've seen that recovery. We're in an overbought condition, as you can see quite clearly uh, on the charts. We're right here, very overbought, much like we were here. And here, but not to say I can't go higher, it just means this is probably an, an area of interest. Plus, you've got the Dantian trading channel coming down, so this is going to present a problem in my mind uh, for this market to continue this, this upward momentum. So, I think uh, right around this level here, we may see sort of sideways action pull down, but eventually, I think we're going to see this index go much, much, much higher with inflation. So. Let's see what happens. Adam Hewis, I hope you get this video, which we made one early in the day. It did not take, uh, did not uh, upload for whatever reason, technical reasons. Uh, we've been challenging a lot of things. Staff is doing an excellent job in our corporate headquarters at Discovery Village. I mean, lots, lots of challenges there with the hurricane. They took out the power. We still have no power running on our generators there, but it's still presenting problems. So, hey, this is Adam Hewis, and I'll be back tomorrow. Hope you enjoy this short video. Let's see how these markets play out for the rest of the day. And let's see how, the, more importantly, how they play out for the rest of the week. And we're looking tomorrow, we look at the monthly charts and where these markets have closed for the month. So Adam Hewison, every success. I'll see you tomorrow.